Recent enhancements to WIFTIS include improvements to the assessment section of a decision and the addition of a new default decision editor to improve and simplify the decision document process. Each of these will be highlighted in this short video. You're probably asking yourself, how does this affect me as a WIFTIS user? Well, the process of developing a decision document is more streamlined, it's more intuitive, and it's been simplified, and this is great news. First, the assessment section of a decision is now split into four distinct parts. This will help you develop inputs in the right place with less wondering about what goes where. Second, you now have a choice regarding which decision editor to use. Number one, you automatically access the new default decision editor when you click the edit button on the decisions page. Although the default decision editor is a simplified approach to developing a decision, it will meet the needs of most incidents and you can easily add supplemental information such as text and images. Number two, the original decision editor is still available if you choose to use it. It's now called the Advanced Editor, and it's accessed by clicking the Convert to Advanced button. The Advanced Editor is a good option when developing complex decision documents with tables and extensive formatting needs, as this is the primary difference between the two editors. The Advanced Editor has a robust set of formatting tools that the simplified default decision editor lacks. And number three, Note atop the page that the default decision editor does not function correctly when using Internet Explorer versions 9 or 10. Agencies are in the process of phasing these versions out, but they are still in use. The good news? Chrome works. Once you've accessed the default decision editor, you'll see that the sections of the decision are arranged as sliding vertical tabs. The Decision Requirements tab is selected in this image. Note the darker shade of blue. Clicking a link on this vertical tab takes you to the section of a decision where you can complete that task. A check mark indicates completed tasks. A few additional notes about the default decision editor. First, sections of a decision can be checked in and out for editing, enabling multiple users to work on a decision. Second, all work can be completed in the default decision editor. If you click a link that navigates you to another part of the application, clicking the return button will get you back to the default decision editor. And last, the view section button is located on each vertical tab, and clicking this allows you to preview what that section of the document will look like in the decision. Use this feature to quickly reference content that's automatically included in a section or to ensure that a section looks exactly how you want it to in the published decision. If you get stuck and need assistance, try using the WIFTIS online help. Click the help icon in the upper right corner of the screen for page sensitive help throughout the application. If you don't find the help you're looking for, scroll to the bottom of the help topic to see other related topics or use the contents index and search features in the left pane. The search feature works best if you search for keywords rather than phrases. If this video is helpful, a video for the previous 5.1 release is available on YouTube and linked on the WIFTIS homepage. The link is available in the Hotpick section on the right or from the What's New in WIFTIS menu option. Both of these options are highlighted in this image. Similar videos will be made for future releases as well. Additional enhancements are planned for summer 2015, so expect another video at that time. Thanks for watching. This video has been brought to you by the Wildland Fire Management Research Development and Applications Program. If you have questions about video content, contact your local geographic area editor or see the WIFTIS online help.